the empty chair and a yellow rose at Kelly Coons table during her induction into the Texas Golf Hall of Fame were symbolic. In attendance that night at San Antonio Country Club were all three members of what was once America's first family of amateur golf, Kelly with brothers Tripp and Hank, joined as well by their father, Ernie. Sadly missing was Kelly's mom, Pam. The native of Crockett, Texas, passed away on October 3rd from multiple myeloma cancer, six days before Kelly's induction. I wanted it to be a celebration because mom was there for every single one of my wins, Kelly said from her home in Argyle, Texas, earlier this week. She missed the ceremony but saw the induction live. Pam Kina always seemed so alive and full of positive energy, which was reflected in what LPGA contemporary Lori Kane referred to as a great Texas-sized smile. As Ernie said, she had an incredible way of making everyone feel better. Pam was the behind-the-scenes driving force of the six USGA national titles claimed by her children. Hank won the U.S. Amateur in 1998 at Oak Hill. Tripp won the U.S. Mid Amateur in 2007 at Bandon Dunes, 13 years after taking Tiger Woods to the limit in the 1994 U.S. Amateur at TPC Sawgrass. A decade ago, he also played on his third Walker Cup team and led Texas to the USGA Men's State Team Championship. Pam and Kelly during her amateur days. But the most accomplished player in the family turned out to be Kelly, who in spite of having diabetes won the U.S. Girls Jr. in 1994 and the U.S. Women's Amateur in 1995, the first woman to do that since Joanne Carner. A year later, Kelly won the U.S. Women's Amateur again and also took the British Ladies Amateur title before turning pro at 19, related Christy Kerr inspired by memory of Pam Kina in recent let victory, while hard-driving Ernie was the parent who instilled the competitiveness in the Kina clan, it was Pam who was, as Ernie said, always out in front of everything. In the day-to-day -day of managing three children within five years of age playing high-level amateur golf, Pam was the best at what she did. Her grandchildren called her Momo. Her license plate was Momo 46, the number coming from the year she was born, she was the glue that kept everyone together, Kelly explained. She was the travel agent, she was the chef, she was the maid, she was the school tutor. She was the warrior in background, doing all the work behind the scenes, Ernie was the caddy, the guy that talked to the golf writers and befriended Earl Woods. But as he put to words after laying his wife of 38 years to rest, she had everything to do with it. She was the most committed to make the children be the best they could be. David Taylor Kelly and Tiger Woods teamed up at the 1996 J.C. Penney Classic in Kelly's first pro start. Pam may have been there for all of Kelly's wins, but Kelly remembers that she was best after the losses. On those nights after too many days away from home, she was the best cheerleader Kelly could have hoped for. Pam was there when Kelly made her pro debut as Tiger Woods' partner in the 1996 J.C. Penney Classic and hit the road with $6 million in endorsement contracts. Kelly won one title in 13 years on the LPGA Tour 1999 Corning Classic and played on two U.S. Solheim Cup teams. Over the years, though, arguably the biggest gift that Pam gave. Her daughter was to teach her how to be a mom as Kelly, now 40, is a mother of two, Morgan, eight and a half, and Ford, three, neither of whom are too young to appreciate how Momo fought cancer with dignity, it's peaceful in that she's not suffering anymore, Kelly said. The other part of it is gut-wrenchingly heartbreaking, Pam beat breast cancer in her 50s, and lived two years longer than expected with the myeloma, making it 71. A brave soldier, is how Ernie described her. We all knew she was in a lot of pain, but she never complained about hurting, it was always about Pam's children and grandchildren, even in her final days. Ernie told the story of Hank sleeping in her hospital room and Pam, hooked up to equipment, telling her son that she wanted to help make the bed. To the bitter end, Ernie said, she was trying to do something for the kids, that was Pam Kina, and why her chair seemed so empty, even though her daughter felt like she was there. Watch Golf Digest videos.